Okay, now we're moving to uh, part two. A, no club, uh, just arms. Okay, we went over, and you're not gonna be able to see us really well, but we went over um, the takeaway. This is it. All you're doing is with your left hand, or you can drag with your right, either way you prefer, okay? You're pushing this arm, your lagging arm, into the post position, somewhat like the leg uh, or utilizing post, okay? But you're pushing this right here. Now, this is where the magic happens. See it? This is where you unscrew the light bulb. Rotation of the forearm, pizza platter, okay? Here, there. Your arms are still pretty much in front of you. Some of you will have a flying elbow, and that's okay. It's controllable. Um, right now, <laughs> I don't have much of a flying elbow because I've got mental issues. Okay, so mine's more like right there. I'm fighting to get it up here. But trust me, this has accomplished even by me, even with a tucked right elbow. Uh, some of you that uh, have uh, rotator cuff issues, you can be pretty powerful from this position, okay? Some of you with mobility issues, where you can't turn so much, you can still be really powerful just that, that high in the back swing, okay? So rehashing, take away. Rear arm into the arm post position, okay? Hand will be on top of the club because of rotation, okay? So we've gotten to here, and then we unscrew the light bulb. Basically, we're lifting Putting the elbow in as much of a 90 or more, if you want, uh, position as you can, okay? And at the same time, unscrewing the light bulb. So we're loading the forearm and the wrist and hand condition to get ready for the screw in the light bulb. 